So we're now currently outside of our property pick of the day. This home is located at 2609 West McNeil Street. Now that's about two or three blocks south of Baseline Road and about two or three blocks north of South Mountain Reserve. So this is a four bedroom, three bath, 2,700 square foot Richmond American home that was built in 2003. It's a 10,000, 11,000 square foot lot. Beautiful home, been on the market about four or five days, currently has no offers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside, we're gonna take a look at this beautiful home. All right, welcome in and uh, welcome to our property pick of the day. This is a beautiful home. It's a beautiful Richmond American home. I'm glad to see it. I love that. Uh, I love that builder, but it's a beautiful property. It's 2,700 square feet, four beds, three baths, split floor plans. It has gas, has electric, 10,000, almost 11,000 square foot lot. And the home's been on the market a couple days. List price, $525,000. It could be a good deal. So let's go ahead and take a look around and let's get your thoughts and your opinion about what you think about this home. So now, as soon as we enter in, it gives you a very grand appeal with these huge pillars, 10 foot high ceilings, all these recessed and custom features, these recessed nook areas, this huge French door that's at, that's greeting you as soon as you walk in. The travertine. Nice lamp. And now this is just the very entrance of the house. We haven't even went through any other parts of it. And now we enter into the formal living room. Surround sound. Place for formal dining. Formal living. Three huge windows that are looking out on a very beautiful, fully landscaped backyard. And we're gonna go through and we'll take a look in the kitchen. So I'll give you the stats again, 2,732 square feet. This is a four bedroom, three bathrooms. This is a single story ranch style home, 10,400 and 52 square foot lot. It does not have a pool. However, it does have a fully landscaped backyard. It's got a beautiful kitchen, center island, granite countertops, nice cabinets, microwave oven, Gas cooktop, beautiful, beautiful home. And turn some lights on. And now here's your pantry. And then this is where your refrigerator would go. You got a little media center right here, additional cabinets. Beautiful. And what I like about this home, uh, probably the best is it's four bedrooms, but it actually has an office. So it's four with a fifth option. But the 2,700 square foot is, is really an ideal space. Obviously you can go bigger, 3,000, 30, depending on what you need, but it is really an ideal space for the majority of most families, you know, with, you know, uh, two adults, two to three children, pets, it's a good amount of space for everybody to feel comfortable, put it like that. And so as we walk through, we'll, we'll just kinda try to get some lighting. Now this is the office, and the office is encased by two French doors, and then you see the uh, crown molding or the, the paneling up top. And we let's draw a little bit of attention to the floors. This is going to be a 
pretty big floors. It looks like a 24, 24 inch tile on a diagonal. Additional storage space, another bedroom, and uh, sorry about no lights. Ah, there we go. This bedroom is connected to a Jack and Jill. So it is a uh, walkthrough, so you can walk straight through. And uh, both, both bedrooms would share this, uh, this bathroom. And let's go ahead and take a look at this bedroom. Stand up shower. If I can get in, that would be cool. If I can't, that's going to have to work too. Then we'll just go back out. And then here's the other bedroom. The bedrooms have hardwood floors. And then that's that door leading into the uh, restroom. Beautiful, beautiful. Got the uh, plantation blinds. Custom shutters is what we call them. And then back inside the living room, you have the media center. So we just seen two of the bedrooms along with the office. And we'll go this way. And then we see uh, the laundry room. Lots of storage space. All the cabinets match. Uh, this is a little mud, a mud sink. And then we have a three car garage. And then you have a hookup for an RO system. Additional storage. Uh, Craftsman half horsepower motors to open up the garage doors. Some additional speakers. And then I believe that door is going to go out to the backyard. So we'll just go back in, split floor plan. And then now we are in the owner's suite. And you have this little day area. Lots of windows, custom shutters, recessed area, 10 foot high ceilings, beautiful. Glass breaking sensor. You got plenty of glass in here. Glass breaking sensors are great. So now we're in the owner's suite uh, bathroom. Separate shower tub, walk-in closet, sink, dual sinks, additional pantry or um, linen closets, you know, so you can keep your towels and your, your whatnots in here. And now we're in the owner's closet. And uh, good size, full walkthrough it looks like, full walkthrough closet. Right, now that we've taken a look at this, we're gonna go outside and we're gonna look at this, uh, this yard. So 10,000 square feet, almost 11,000, 10,000, we'll say 10,500 square feet. That's a big lot, that is a very big lot. So I think this home is, I like it because it's well placed, the, the size of it, the number of bedrooms, uh, the overall layout, I think it's very comfortable. Um, you know, and I think it's a, it's a space that will fit most people and at the asking price in the community, I think is a really, really good idea. So let's go take a look. And there's your view of South Mountain, super high back wall. Again, this home's been on the market, uh, just coming up on five days. And they got a little garden out here. It looks like they have some egg, some eggplant. Good for some eggplant parmesan, right? And uh, now we're on the east side of the home, or the west, I'm sorry, the west side of the house. And it looks like this may be some type of makeshift dog run, but fully mature, fully landscaped uh, professionally. Backyard, lots of lots of potters, potter plants, and beautiful area. This reminds me of like uh, some place where you can have like a really cool Easter egg hunt, and then you have outside grill and different areas to clean and and whatnot. 
and beautiful trees. Okay. And the grass is gorgeous. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. I like this. This is, this is, this is, this is beautiful. And then you could do anything with this, you know, if you wanted to put a jacuzzi or maybe just a little uh, ramada, somewhere where you could sit out. This is a good place to entertain, have breakfast. Very classy, very, very well kept. Uh, it looks like the neighbors even have like a little batting cage in their backyard. And that even right there could be like another dog run or just some place where you can park your toys. But uh, beautiful area. So this is a this is a great way to start a Monday off. I mean, out here looking at this home, 2609 West McNeil Street, uh, beautiful gated community. This is a Richmond American home, and it shows in the quality and the the, the craftsmanship. Uh, but beautiful home built in 2003, and uh, it's on the market right now for sale. If you're interested in this property, then feel free, please reach out to us if you have any comments or any questions about this property or any other properties that we've uh, we've shown. Please uh, feel free to uh, uh, just give us any comments or feedback and, and let us know what you think about it. We're, we're out here showing these off. We want people to know that there are beautiful homes that are available, that they're in all different price ranges. And uh, the American dream of owning a home is it's possible it's very realistic uh so thank you thank you thank you for watching tuning in um, i hope you enjoyed this home as much as i did and uh, we are here to help you if uh, ever you feel the need to reach out anyways god bless take care have a wonderful day and uh, we'll talk with you soon talk to you later bye